Quick update on our stock draft now. The mentalist O's Perlman is still number one with Carvana driving his portfolio up nearly 60 percent since this draft in late April. Former NFLer Eddie George and Nev Shulman are in second and third. Our next guest, fitness expert and podcast host Jillian Michaels, is in sixth place with Team Cash Crew. She picked Microsoft and J.P. Morgan. Uh, meantime, Jillian had an interesting day yesterday. She testified on nutrition and health in front of Congress. On the same day, the CEO of Novo Nordisk was pummeled in a separate hearing on the Hill over the price of his company's blockbuster diabetes and weight loss drugs. Uh, Jillian Michaels is here with us now. Thanks so much for your time, and we really appreciate it today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. This has become like a big, a, a big banner issue in a societal fight, and, and, and what's in it for, as far as you're concerned? Honestly, just trying to get the poison out of our food, period. End of story. Selfishly, it is very difficult to try to spend all of your time avoiding heavy metals, microplastics, food colorings, glyphosate. I mean, it's absurd. We can take all the agency in the world, but until there's a systemic change, it's going to be virtually impossible for Americans to get healthier. We need help. Amen. Amen. Amen, sister. I say to you as I try, you know, I there's books out on this now that are bringing attention to the issue of ultra processed foods and, and so forth. But how does this dovetail with the rise of obesity drugs? OK, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. But you've got dysfunctional agriculture legislation called the Farm Bill. And that means that all these tax subsidy dollars are going to GMO crops like corn and soy because they're high yield. They're heavily sprayed with all kinds of chemicals and fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. This bounty of cheap calories goes to big food, who then mess with it a little bit more to make it really addictive, to undermine your sati sati sorry, satiety, and to then inundate your environment with it. So now they're exploiting our psychological hungers, our stresses. They're surrounding us with food. So willpower in that fleeting moment is gone because food is everywhere all the time. And then it's biologically addictive. They're hacking your biology and exploiting our psychology. And then Big Pharma is waiting on the other side to pick us up and give us obesity drugs, statins, right. blood pressure no, I, I'm with you, but, but would it be better to not have Big Pharma trying to ride to the rescue? I mean, the system is what it is. We're not going to, I think, outlaw it at this point. So is it not at least some mechanism to give people, um, you know, some sort of break from, from the addiction? Well, the hope is that we would have a change with regard to our food system and people's habits around food and empower them to start making some simple changes, even just removing soda. I could give you a long list of the issues with these drugs, and I've done it a ton of times, but the reality is they cost hundreds, if not thousands a month. They plateau. They come with a host of other very serious side effects. And everything has to be a cost-benefit analysis. So unless you're very ill and very advanced with things like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, chronic kidney disease, I don't think you really want to be looking at stomach paralysis, pancreatitis, the potential for thyroid cancer, albeit rare, nausea, vomiting, intestinal blockage. There are also, uh, aren't there, Jillian, some salutary side effects of these drugs, or at least in early studies uh, indicating that they can be helpful in other ways? I mean, I, I just want to make that point. No, uh, I, that's actually not true. And well, I, I, I don't know that, the, that that's a fact. I, I, I mean, I, I do. I've, I've done quite a bit of homework on it. I know all the studies that you're referring to. And the reality is that we can't point to any mechanism outside of weight loss in any way conclusively, arguably with people that have advanced chronic kidney disease, they saw it slow progression, but not reverse. And in fact, if you look at what does reverse kidney disease and even prevent it, would be exercise being the most powerful tool for prevention. Get a walking pad. Lose weight naturally and you'll have no risk for side effect, just as many benefits and more. So yeah, no, I, I don't disagree with that one, one bit. Let me ask you, the question I really wanted to ask you is with respect to the... To, to what is being done and how our food is being grown and then processed. What is the one thing, if you could correct one thing in that, in that entire complex, what would it be? Would it be removing excess sugar, which I believe is an addictive substance? Would it be uh, artificial colors? Would it be, what, you mentioned a lot at the top. What yes, would the one thing yeah. be? 
What you need to do is end Citizens United and get the lobbyists out of Washington, and it becomes very simple. They do this in Europe already. We have a roadmap. If you look at the work of Jason Karp and Vani Hari, they're already showing us, they're illustrating in real time, in Europe, all this crap is banned. There's only 400 chemicals there. We have 10,000 here. How about we follow that roadmap? Low-hanging fruit. All right, Jillian, thanks so much. We appreciate it. And good luck uh, continuing in our stock draft. Power Launch will be right back.